Welcome to another Cinema 4D Dynamics tutorial. In this lesson we're going to take a look at how to slow down simulations using two different methods. So first I'm going to create a floor and, and I'm going to create a sphere. I'm just going to move it up, move it along Z. I'm going to give these two objects a rigid body tag. And the sphere I'm going to give it a custom initial velocity of minus y, sorry, minus z, uh, minus 100 centimeters a second. I play this back and we can see that the sphere starts rolling along z, minus z. So if we go to the dynamics tab, you'll notice this deactivation section and we have a linear velocity threshold and an angular velocity threshold. So this basically means that if the ball rolls slower than 10 centimeters a second or 10 degrees a second, uh, the simulation just stops. It basically comes to a rest. So if I make these values larger, we'll notice that the ball rolls and then comes to a sudden stop because as soon as the speed drops below 90 centimeters a second, uh, the simulation cuts off. So that's a bit of an extreme example, but uh, it's good for demonstrating what these mean. And if you make these values too low, uh, the ball is effectively going to roll forever. So I'm just going to increase my range, zoom out quite far, and play back the simulation. And because this value is so small, it's basically going to take a very, very long time before it comes to a standstill. So I'm just going to select both these values. I'm going to right click and go to reset to default, which is quite a useful option. And you can do this for any parameter. Just right click, reset to default. So the second uh, technique I'm going to show you is angular and linear damping. So I'm just going to click on the rigid body tag again and I'm going to go to the force tab this time and we can see these two options linear damping angular damping so this is basically um, effectively this is just like air resistance so the balls are rolling and it definitely gets to the other end so I'm just going to add some damping maybe 50%. So this is basically killing the kinetic energy of the ball. So if I play this back, the ball barely uh, moves very far before it kind of comes to a standstill. So I'm just going to create a MoGraph cloner, put the sphere into the cloner, go to grid array, give it five. Um, I'm just going to reduce the radius of the sphere move up the cloner, put the tag onto the cloner and as you remember from the previous tutorials we need to set it to apply tag to children and individual elements all. So I'm just going to play this back and it's still got the initial velocity. I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay. So one use of this uh, linear damping could be to slow down a simulation. So imagine this is like a building collapsing. In kind of large-scale destruction scenarios, uh, things kind of seem to collapse very slowly, and that's because uh, they're so large. They don't behave like small kind of objects collapsing. So I'm just going to add some more uh, linear and angular damping. And the balls uh, barely spread out. If we set this to 100%, it basically kills all the kinetic energy. The simulation doesn't even move. So I'm just going to go to 99%, and you'll see that the balls kind of balance before they collapse. I'm actually going to swap the sphere for a cube. I think it'll be a better uh, demonstration. Maybe slightly bigger. 44. Okay, let's see what happens here. 
Okay, I'm gonna go down to 90 degrees damping. 90%, sorry. Still too high, I'll try 55. Very free. So as you can see, we're getting some uh, some of the boxes falling over, but the kind of majority of them seem to stay in the center. So you can definitely create some interesting effects with this, and it just gives you that extra level of control. So if you found this tutorial useful, please share it, and thanks for watching.